Hi, good afternoon, and welcome to the shop. Um, I was asked by Tim at um, Littleton Park and Rec to um, come up with a project that we could do for during the current situation, and um, he came up with the idea of doing a birdhouse. So I suggested we do a um, blue birdhouse. So that's what you have gotten the kit for. Um, the kit is gonna is comprised of there's a bag that's got two screws in it, and I believe about 16 or 18 nails. Um, there might be some extras in the kit, so in case you have a problem. Um, there's going to be one back, and the, and the back is going to have a hole at the top of it. So you want to make sure that when you're starting to assemble it, you put that at the top. There's a left side. You can see there's an angle on it, and they're both marked, and a right side. The sides that have the lettering on it are what you want to put to the inside. Um, and then there's the front with the uh, correct size hole for a bluebird to go through, which is an inch and a half, and the top, which has um, got two holes in it so you can screw it on. Um, then when at the end of the summer or the early fall, when the bluebirds have had their family and everybody grew up and went away, you can open up the top, clean out the old nest, and um, get it ready for next year. So um, the things you're gonna need with it is obviously a hammer. Um, you can either use Type Bond 3 glue, which is waterproof, um, which is probably the best choice, but if you don't have that, Type Bond 2, um, which is a uh, water resistant glue. Um, you can get either one of these at any of the, one, you know, any of the hardware stores here in Littleton or wherever you um, wanna shop. The other thing you need is a um, number two Phillips screwdriver or if you have a battery drill or a little impact driver, put a number two um, Phillips bit into it. If you're gonna do it yourself from the uh, instructions that I gave you, you're gonna need all of these components plus um, a chop saw and um, a couple size uh, drills um, that's on the instruction sheet. Um, I can't emphasize uh, when you do use the chop saw and um, any other power tools, be extremely careful, take your time, measure twice, cut once, um, and wear safety glasses. So if we're all set to go, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take and put the left and the right side, the long side that has the little flat is gonna be towards the top. So um, in order to do that, you, you can do it, you can do the back either way you want. You can have the rough side out or the rough side in. I'm gonna do it so that the uh, rough side is towards the inside of the birdhouse and the smooth side is on the, uh, would be to the back. Um, probably the easiest way to do this is to use them both to hold it, hold it up. Um, make sure we do it the right way. We'll put it together wrong. Um, I'm going to take and put that on there, um, and then line up the. Let me turn this a little bit so you can see it. You want to everything's going to line up with the bottom, so the sides are going to line up with the bottom of the back. And again, don't forget the hole wants to be at the top. So we're going to put that underneath there just to support it. Um, just want a little small bead of glue down um, the side here. Set that aside. And then set this on there. Type on uh, three. You can get, you can, if it was me, I would let it set just for a little bit so the glue um, kind of sticks to that spot a little bit. Um, and then that way there it won't move when you nail it. Um, in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, start to nail this. So start with one at the bottom. Again, make sure that bottom is nice and flush with the sides. Put the one nail in the bottom. Do the second one um, at the top. And then do the one in the middle last. And then just, just do the same thing in reverse on the other side. A little bit of glue down there. Um, line that up. So it's nice and flush on the bottom. Um, I made about three or four of these before um, I did the, did the kits that you have, and they're outside here in the yard, and this morning we wound up with a male and a female bluebird, 
um, checking out one of the houses, and it, it appears that they're uh, setting up housekeeping there. So uh, that's really cool, and I'll post some pictures of that later on because I was able to photograph some. So, so far, left side, right side, and the back. The next thing you want to do, there's two ways you can do this. I'm going to take and put the bottom in next. It makes it easier to um, uh, to assemble it. So again, you can want to take on the three sides that you're going to have going here, put glue on those three sides. I'm going to put the smooth side of the bottom on the inside. Uh, you don't have to be overly worry about any glue that um, might who's out at this point in time. Um, I won't have to worry about it. And then kind of hold it in place while I nail it. Uh, you can push down on it and that'll kind of hold it in place. And go over and flip it over. Nail the, um, the other side down. And again, line it up as best you can at the bottom. And then one nail. One nail will go through the back as well. Um, there's little, um, as you can see, there's some little angle cuts on the on the bottom. That's just so there'll be some um, air circulation inside the birdhouse. Um, the next thing you want to do is then put the top on. What's going to be extremely important on this is to line up the front edge of the uh, of the sides to the back edge of the um, front piece. Um, and that angle is the same angle. Same, uh, same thing, just flip it upside down, put some glue down both sides. Like so. And again, nail one side at a time, line one of them up, get it flush on the outside, and get it so that that back angle is even with that. Don't worry about the bottom if the bottom happens to overlap it a little bit. That's not a big deal. The most important thing, like I said, is getting this top piece on the angle correct. And then go ahead and nail down that side. A minor difference here won't be the end of the world on where the angle is. Um, from what I gather, the bluebirds aren't terribly fussy, um, other than the size of the hole and how deep it is from the bot from the hole to the bottom of the um, birdhouse. I'm the fussy one. <laughs> Three nails on each side of the front, same thing on the back. And then the last thing on this, the last nail you're going to wind up having to nail in is there's a um, hole on the bottom of the front in order to nail into the uh, bottom of the uh, birdhouse. Okay, so there we are. We're almost done. So, the last thing is to put the top on. The top has got an angle on it. That angle is um, made to go to match up to the to the back and all you need to do is um, they can put the two screws in here and then, and then screw them in there's no need to make um, pilot holes this, these kits are made out of pine um, so that it it goes in fine. You want to use a, um, try to use a brass or, or a um, exterior coated screw. That's what these are. And that's it. Voila. Done. So now you can have, both. hopefully some bluebirds will show up. Um, if you want to wind up making more than one later on, usually bluebirds, from what I understand, like to have colonies. So sometimes it can be as many as 10 um, mom and dad bluebirds. Um, that, that would be hanging around in a fairly close area. So, there you go. Hope you have fun. Oh, if you want to take and uh, personalize it, 
take and write your name that you put it together today and the date, and um, it'll be there as long as you have the birdhouse. So thanks a lot. I want to thank again Littleton Park and Rec for asking me to do this, and I hope you had fun. And maybe we'll have some other projects at some other point in time. So take care, everybody. Stay safe, and um, we'll see you later. Bye.